finally, finally, after two weeks, they finally shut down. Let me tell you something. I realized that the CEO was on board, but I'm sure there was, I don't know, a next in command something. Because if I was doing something like that, where there was a chance that something like a catastrophic implosion could happen, I would have had it that even if I went down with the ship, that you are to cease operations that day. Immediate investigations are to be done, so on, so forth. It's amazing that it took this long. So it says here, Titanic sub update. Ocean Gate shuts down two weeks after deadly Titan implosion found. Ocean Gate Expeditions, the company that launched the doomed Titan submersible trip to the wreckage of the Titanic, has ceased operations. A small message in the top left-hand corner of Ocean Gate's website reads, Ocean Gate has suspended all exploration and commercial operations. That would have been done day one. And, you know, with all the stuff coming out, with the, uh, the military detecting the implosion, with James Cameron getting whatever info that he got, where it is that he actually did get what I read yesterday, the whole transcript. And I, I know it could be real, it could be fake. And it's kind of funny how some, some people, like, I'm just, I'm keeping it right in the middle. I'm like, I don't know if it's real or not. I just want to know if it is real. Just be, you know how much stuff the mainstream media doesn't put out? And there were people that were, I ain't saying on the news, so I don't think it's real. How have y'all been living in our times yet? <laughs> Just, <laughs> there's real and fake news. And they both come out all the time. And you might argue that fake news comes out more than real news. But with them having heard the explosion, implosion, with James Cameron saying, I knew. I just knew. And I watched a little bit of that, that documentary on him, and he was the first one to go into the Mariana Trench that deep. I'm like, yo, man, this dude is, he's a pioneer. Movies, exploration, I mean, man, James Cameron can't be stopped. So I call him the Titanic. Uh, so, I'm just thinking of myself, and, and trust me, I, I heard about all the different distractions and other accidents that have happened, happened and everything, and, you know, um, you know, everybody's got a story for why, 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 but that's something, you stop operations immediately, you know what I'm saying? Um, I live near Six Flags, you know, if something happens, stuff gets shut down, you know what I mean? Need to find out what's going on, take care of this, you know. If this roller coaster or something happens, shut it down, it's closed. We need to find out what's going on, shut down operations. And some people were saying stuff like, well, well, planes keep flying even after a plane crash, first of all. Planes, trains, buses, they're all commercial. Been running for years. As a matter of fact, running longer than many of you have been alive. Their certification and safety protocol is much higher than this sub was, and what Ocean Gate was doing. There is no way in hell you can compare. Ocean Gate continuing to have that advertisement up and advertising trips versus American Airlines maybe having a plane go down and continuing to fly planes. That's two different situations. 
And, uh, you know, it's my suspicions that, yeah, they're probably, um, you know, short staffed, probably small. You know, I hear it's, the submersible community is very small and tight knit from what I understand. And I was even watching someone today, they're like, they think that they were having money troubles and everything. So, um, they were saying that they figured that, that they should have actually charged more money for these trips for the upkeep to make sure that the sub, the sub was, you know, performing properly. And, you know, you're hearing stuff about people saying, yeah, and they went down, they heard a little creak or two. Man. A small message at the top left of the corner, left hand corner, says that they have suspended all operations. The announcement comes a full two weeks after the submersible imploded while carrying five people, sparking an international search, rescue, and recovery operation. Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush, French diver Paul Henry, um, and we, we, we know all their names, um, all passed away on the implosion. The company has come under scrutiny in the two weeks following the tragic accident as former employees. Yeah, the for, former employee that I heard about that was fired and he was talking about like, look, something's wrong with this. This is not going to work. Uh, experts in the industry have criticized Ocean Gate for embarking on a potentially dangerous trip. Um, and it said that like several people were like, yo, you're going to get somebody killed. And he just kept ignoring it. Like, I guess he just had stars in his eyes. He was on it. He was piloting it. He had to believe in his vision. But I, I don't understand. I mean, everybody else is saying, like, I get it. I get it. But, I mean, come on. If this other stuff isn't tried and true that you're trying, you can't call it innovation. It's just ignorance or delusion. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody else in the field is like, this isn't strong enough to continue to dive, do dives like this. You and the shape's not right, and you're like, nah, I got it. I just, you know, and people blaming them on being woke and stuff, and talking about he didn't want a bunch of 50-year-old white guys. Look, if I'm running a company like that, and it's got to do with people's safety. I want the most experienced people on board. It ain't got nothing to do with young guys, women, LGBTQ, the color of their skin. It's experience and how good you are. Because I don't want to lose nobody on, on my operation or on my watch. You got what I'm saying? Ocean Gate's decision to seize operations comes just after the company's former finance director claimed she quit after CEO Stockton Rush asked her to captain the Titan once he fired the craft's original chief pilot, David Lockridge. Man! Come on. There's no way, bruh. I would have shut it down immediately. Like whoever was in charge after him could have had it, should have had it sh shut down. Because first of all, you know how bad that is press-wise and reputation-wise. So it, it shows either, like depending on how, like I said, like it, it makes it look like the company doesn't care. It makes it look like they're not taking the implosion seriously. It's like, yeah, yeah, we still signing people up. We we gonna get the next one out, and you know, no, oh no, not with a small operation like that. weren't certified, didn't do things, had it done in kind of a hodgepodge way. I don't care about the little Logitech controller, because United States military uses Xbox controllers for stuff and drones and everything. So it, that doesn't bother me. But what bothers me is that. Like when people keep telling you something's going to happen, even the glass on the front of it was like, oh, what did they say it was rated for like a thousand feet or something? I can't remember. So it's like, why would you go that deep with something that was rated for that? Like, did he have a wish? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, 
the thing uh, they finally, you know, they, look, let me tell you something. I think it's a hell storm, a bad press for this company after the way everything was handled and people don't trust the media uh, with this either and just the way everything was done. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think about the situation. If you enjoyed my thoughts on this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see y'all in the next video.